Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a bottle of Raccoon Imperial Black IPA by the brewery I can't even pronounce out of Quebec. Like, the hell is it? Is it what is it here? Microbrasserie Le Naufragueur. N-A-U-F-R-A-G-E-U-R. I don't know. This was brewed, bottled, sorry, on the 5th of October of last year. It being an Imperial Black IPA, coming in at 10% ABV, I'm hoping this is still going to be somewhat okay. I'm assuming any hoppiness that was in this beer is probably fallen off a cliff somewhere. But it could still be kind of a decent Imperial Stout at this point, I'm thinking, maybe. Um, everything on here is in French. I was able to kind of do a little bit of translating. They're out of uh, Carlton sur mur in Quebec. So, uh, yeah. Nick from Maxwell Star Beer Review. I believe his channel is just called Maxwell Star, but he does mostly beer type stuff. Uh, he has tried this. Probably more fresh than I'm about to try it, but he said it was quite tasty. So, little comparison, I guess, can happen here. Bottle cap. That little boat on there. I'm not sure if the boat is in reference to... No, it wouldn't be, because no, this is like a sailing ship, and Raccoon was a yacht, an armored yacht, that the Canadian Navy used during World War II. There's a whole story about it. We'll get into that. Let's crack her open. And we'll see. what we have got. Assuming it's going to be pretty damn dark. Oh, got some head going on there. Nice, deep, deep dark head on that one. This glass is a bit bigger than my other one, so this 500 mil bottle should easily fit a picture. Came up pretty damn black. Just how black? Um, yeah, no, wow. Light is not getting through there anywhere. Jesus. It smells stouty. A really dark, thick, chocolatey looking head to it. Not really getting any kind of bitter, maybe a bit of coffee in the aroma. Chocolatey. Let's give her a shot. Not bad. A little kind of unusual flavor to it. I can't really place. I've had it in beer that was like this flavor I'm currently getting that I'm saying is weird. I have experienced in beers that were not this old. So I'm going to say it's not due to that. It's probably something that's meant to be there. I don't understand it. I don't know what it is. It's weird to me. But uh, overall, Definitely tastes more like some kind of, uh, not even, maybe not even Imperial, but just like a higher ABV stout than any kind of Imperial Black IPA. But it's not bad. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Not really coming through as a 10% beer, which is nice. It's, it's decent. Um, what is it? Micro, no, just le, le naufragure.com. We'll bring it to blah, 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 what I just said. It's over there. There it is. Yeah, there you go. And uh, yeah, they seem to make a fair number of different beers. The website itself is a little bit on the plain side, but... That's fine. It tells you everything you need to know. It's all there. Um, as far as what this says, on one side, it says velvety and cor corpulent. Not a word I have ever seen before, I don't think. 
This very intense beer, brewed all grain, has flavors of caramel and chocolate, and the bitterness both powerful and very floral that benefits an Imperial Black IPA. That was translated directly from French to English, so it could be a little bit off on what it says. Uh, ingredients are water, something, something, hops. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Water is O. O R G E malty. I'm assuming is some kind of malt. Flacon, d'avion. Flacon is flakes, maybe oat flakes, wheat flakes. Levure. Maybe that's yeast. I don't know. You know what? I can probably actually do that really quickly as well. I have the whole description page opened up. Do not save anything. There you go, right there. Ingredients there? No, of course not. Never mind. I can't do it. I'm not impressed. Um, so what it says, kind of, well, I don't even need to read what it says over here. This is like the description of what happened to the boat in French. So I just went to Wikipedia and brought up the page. So basically, uh, it was September 2nd of 1942, I think, escorting a convoy when the armed yacht came under U-boat attack. At least two torpedoes were fired at the raccoon, with one passing ahead, one passing beneath. They both went underneath because they were attempting to, to shoot at a ship that had a much lower, I believe the word is keel, than the raccoon, way deeper in the water kind of thing, so they were fine. The raccoon then turned around and tried to go after them, dropping depth charges, but didn't find them. Then they were escorting somebody on the 6th of September when another ship was attacked and sunk by... U-165, and uh, what happened here? As the lead ship slowed to pick up the survivors, the raccoon went to screen the convoy. I believe that just like to kind of block off the area so nobody else. And then two loud explosions were heard, and nobody really knew what happened. They assumed that the raccoon had dropped depth charges and hit something, but what happened was the raccoon, uh, it was concluded that the boiler exploded after being hit by a torpedo. So the first explosion would have been the torpedo going and then the boiler subsequently going crazy afterwards. And all they found was, what did it say here? The body of one crew member and a corner of the wooden bridge structure was found and that was like it. So. Yeah, it's a memorial kind of beer. Kind of sucks. Like, I'm not sure if they successfully screened the convoy and the survivors were able to be saved because of the raccoon, or if the raccoon went too far ahead and then ended up alerting more people and they can't, I don't know what happened. War is a crazy, crazy thing. The beer's all right. I don't know. Like I said, that, that weirdness is there in a decent way. It's going to take a while to get down to that area right there. And it's already been 10 minutes and 20 seconds, so it's good timing. Ha ha ha, break. Really turned out to be not that bad of a beer. It's completely decent like I said as far as uh, it's now kind of become more of a strong stout the poppy presence is gone it's I'd like to like every single old beer that I bought I would really like to try a fresh version of it but I don't know um, next time I go again I'm not sure how long it will be because this one kind of put a bad taste in my mouth like I said the next trip to to Miskaming, hopefully not hopefully but definitely I will be keeping an eye on the date of every goddamn beer that I buy. Because not only could I have, sa I have saved a bunch of money because I bought a lot of old beer, but, you know, I could have looked at them all and possibly got the same. Maybe I wouldn't have saved money. Maybe I would have bought the same amount of beer and they would have all been fresh. I don't freaking know. Before I do this, I almost forgot. Almost happened. Whatever, there we go. Ratings. For, I'm assuming, a bit of a fresher version of this beer. Untapped. 647 overall, 3.79 out of 5. My mouth has stopped being able to work. 
Beer Advocate gives it a 3.9 fine. Nine fine, nine fine. Yeah, yeah, my mouth is falling apart right now. 3.59 out of 5 with 15 ratings, and Rate Beer gives it a 3.59 out of 5 as well with 49 ratings. There we go. Yeah, drink number the last. <coughs> my, uh, yeah, my, my arm's been actually blocking the whole time, but there's somebody sitting back there right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, showed up during the break. So, hence my, my and that's, that's why my mouth is falling apart. I'm trying to talk too fast. I'm trying to get through the end of it. The be What the hell's the brewery name here? I can't even pronounce it again. Microbrasserie La, La Naufragure. Not, Marcel, do you know how to pronounce that word better than me? N-A-U-F-R-A-G-E-U-R. Naufragure? Now freaking no figure. Yeah, see, they, I'm not, I don't think that's actually like technically even a French word. It sounds like it seems like that's like something to do with a boat. The whole brewery thing seems to be boat related. Anyway, rating on this particular beer when it's been kind of aged. It's still like a good pollen. I'm gonna say good. I almost said I said pollen. It says solid because that's how my mouth rolls. Solid eight. It's still really tasty as a stout without the hoppiness there. And uh, yeah, buy it if you can. And you know, if it was at uh, October of last year, if it's in that range, then it's still gonna be somewhat tasty, according to my tongue anyway. And that's gonna do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, you know where the thumbs up button is. Smack it in its face. If you wanna see more, subscribe, bell notification. If it has a face, smack that as well. And if you wanna see more, nope, that's not how it works at all. Got something to say? Comments go in the box down below. Uh, have you had this particular beer? Did you have it on the fresh side or the old side? What did you think? Uh, Nick, if you're watching the video, let me know kind of in the comments what, what you thought of it because that's you're the only one that I knew that had it and stuff like that. Meh. Thanks again. I'll be back with another drilling vlog tomorrow. A uh, peace out! Shaking your head at me? Why? You're such a fucking ageist. I'm an ageist. I'm an ageist.